guys, it's Mars. This is a quick summary for the video that I recorded earlier, which we're fixing to roll. I started to rant and kind of got in a bad mood, so let me break this down real easily. Number one, art, yes. Church, no. God, yes. Religion, no. Spirituality is about real community of neighbors, family, friends, and loving them unconditionally, no matter what. Yes. Spirituality is not networking. It's not networking. It's not networking. It's not working. And yes, I did get hammered last night at East Texas' most awesome tavern, Ray's It'll Do Tavern. And no, I did not go to church, nor do I go to church, but yet I talk about the love of God. What gives? I believe in life, which includes living. And last night I was living with my community. I was literally having a drink and communing with those that we're friends with, those that we share life with, those that I love and live life with unconditionally, even though they are a different race, even though they are gay. I need to shake off all those religious shackles and live life. Roll the clip. Good morning. Sunday morning is every day for all I care. I'm not scared. Just a little hungover. It's all good. I love Sunday mornings now. They used to be so damn stressful because I used to go to church. But I'm free, hallelujah, I'm free. I'm still a believer, but not of church. My biggest problem with church is that I used to be a pastor. And so it's kind of like the whole thing where you don't eat meat because you know how the sausage is made. I know how the damn sausage is made and it's ugly. Is church bad? It's just not for me. Church is great for people that love a fraternity. Um, you know, actually, I'm sorry I even brought up the subject. Uh, I don't know, it's still a sore point. I've went to church most of my life and it's just kind of crazy when you are so sure and you are so passionate about something and then it not be true. Just so I don't look like a total church asshole. Let me start from the beginning. When I was a young believer, I had a pastor that told me, whatever you do, trust the ancient words in the Bible before you trust a man. So as long as I was going to church, I was like, all these other people trust the Bible too, so it's all good. Except that you're dealing with a 2,000 year old bureaucracy. Plain and simple. The Bible does not say you have to go to church. In fact, the only churches that were in the New Testament were house churches or synagogues, which were the Jewish churches. Actually, the closest thing to a commandment says, do not forget the assembling of the saints. That's it. Nowhere in the Bible does it teach church structure, does it teach you how to do church. The reason we sing in church is a totally new modern aspect. I mean, they didn't even do that in the past. Blah, blah, blah. Listen, the good news is you don't have to go to church and God loves you anyway. The Bible says you don't have to go. It doesn't command it. And you don't have to feel guilty for not going. Live your damn life. And instead of fake relationships at church, build real relationships with your neighbors, with your family, with your friends and co-workers. But if you like networking, then go to church. You need a business lead, go to church. Okay, so what about some good news? You say you used to be a pastor and you don't go to church, so what's the good news? Well, I've been talking about creativity as a goal for this year. Do you want to see the true evidence of God walk into an art museum? and you will realize how supernatural we are. There are no art museums in nature. Animals are not making art. We are creators. We are a product of a creator God. So today, create. This year, be a creator. Use your imagination 
and make some awesome shit. Because in doing so, you will become divine. It doesn't matter if you're a Christian or an atheist. When you create, it is supernatural. Go create something today. Oh,